Check out this thing's radiator. It's massive. I can't even, I have no clue how much this thing weighs. But my guess is it's a few hundred pounds. They don't make truck radiators like this anymore. This thing has individually serviceable cores. So if a core gets damaged, you can actually take it out and block it and bring it to the radiator repair shop and run with the rest of them while it's getting repaired. This truck's from 1918, but a lot of trucks actually didn't have the radiators in the front back then. That was because of horses. Well, more specifically, the Teamsters. Max had the radiator behind the engine, so it couldn't be damaged by horses. So they back horses up to these trucks and have them kick in the radiators. See, trucks back in the day were like electric vehicles today. A lot of people really disliked them. They did not like the change from horses to trucks. I guess history is repeating itself. But I need to pull this massive thing out because I got to figure out steering and this opens up a lot of room for activities. Oh, it's nice to see that 12 valve sitting in there. Oh, this makes things a thousand times easier.